this old guy DIY video has to do with fixing an external leak on the windshield of a Suburban. So a friend recently got this truck. I don't know if you can see the waviness in this seal right here, but my understanding is the windshield comes with the seal on it. So when he saw this and how wavy it is, he thought, well, that might be a problem. And after having the truck when it rained, water would actually run right down in here between the seal and the roof of the truck. So he asked me to take a look at it. And what I'm going to do today to fix it is use some Permatex gasket maker. I'm going to take some tape and put tape along the edge so I don't get too much tape up here on the paint. But this is a Chinese replacement windshield. It's probably from the Yuk Fu region. And it has two little chips in it already. So whether this lasts a month or three years before the chips expand and he has to replace it, I don't know. But as an interim, so water doesn't run down along the inside of the vehicle, I'm going to use that Permatex today. And what happens now is water drips down under these areas where it's wavy. It drips down into the cabin of the vehicle. And it's easy enough to feel where the water is coming through on the inside. But if I patched it on the inside, I would just trap the water up here in this channel and I suspect it would rust out the steel. So anyway, I'll mask it off, put the Permatex on there, hit it with a friend's hair dryer, and we'll know shortly if it works. Now I have it masked off, so I'm just going to take some of that Permatex, kind of smear it in here with my finger, and see if I can't seal this thing up. Well, this is what it looks like after I applied that gasket maker. Now I'll come through with a paper towel and wipe this off of the trim piece. This is what it looked like after I wiped this piece of trim off with a paper towel. Now I just need to pull up the masking and I should have a good seal all the way along that little what was intended to be a seal that currently leaks. Time will tell. And this is what the finished product looks like. I have a little bead of gasket maker all along this trim piece where it mates with the roof of the vehicle. And I suspect that'll keep the water out until this replacement windshield finally fails. When I went to use this product, the end had kind of closed up. I guess the air gets to it and caused it to harden. So I put a drill bit in there and tried to make that work without success. So then I just took a side cutter, came down here, cut a little wedge out so I could get the material out. And now that I'm done, I'll just roll this over like a toothpaste roll and uh, save it until I need it next time. This is what it looks like rolled up, ready for storage until I need it again. So I hope this technique helps you and works for me. And have a great day.